The world of computers is about to change in a big way. We're on the brink of a technological revolution that could redefine how we process information. For years, we've made computers faster by putting more tiny parts, called transistors, onto silicon chips. This method has served us well, but it's reaching its physical limits. But we're running out of space. The chips are becoming so densely packed that we can't fit any more transistors without causing overheating and other issues. To make computers even more powerful, we need to look at something completely different. The strange world of quantum mechanics. This field opens up possibilities that were once thought to be science fiction. Quantum mechanics is a set of rules that governs how tiny particles behave. These rules are very different from the ones we're used to in our everyday lives. These particles can do weird things like being in multiple places at once, superposition. This means they can hold more information than traditional bits, and being connected over long distances, entanglement. This allows for instant communication between particles no matter how far apart they are. Imagine a computer that can do many calculations at the same time, not one after another. This parallel processing capability could revolutionize fields like cryptography and complex simulations. This is the exciting possibility of quantum computing. Solving problems that are too hard for even the best computers today, it could change everything from medicine to material science. Things like discovering new medicines, simulating new materials, and even creating new forms of artificial intelligence could all become possible. Hackers cracking secret codes could also become possible. But there's a problem. Despite their potential, quantum computers face significant challenges. Quantum computers are very unstable. The same things that make them powerful also make them easy to break. They are highly sensitive to their environment. Even the slightest disturbance can cause errors in their calculations. Building a reliable quantum computer is a huge challenge. Scientists and engineers are working tirelessly to overcome these obstacles. This is where the McGinty equation comes in. It's a groundbreaking formula that could help stabilize quantum systems, making reliable quantum computing a reality. The McGinty equation, named after its inventor, Chris McGinty, is revolutionizing our understanding of computing and the universe itself. It's not just about creating a faster program or a more efficient chip. It's about a whole new paradigm connecting the principles of quantum mechanics, the beauty of fractal mathematics, and the futuristic potential of holograms. The McGinty equation proposes that the universe isn't composed of isolated entities, but rather a vast, interconnected web of information. This means that computing isn't merely a human endeavor with machines, it's an intrinsic part of how the universe operates. This groundbreaking perspective offers us a novel approach to constructing quantum computers, pushing the boundaries of technology. Instead of attempting to control individual quantum bits or qubits, the McGinty equation leverages stable fractal structures. Fractals, which are repeating patterns found abundantly in nature, such as in snowflakes or the intricate designs of fern leaves, play a crucial role. By embedding quantum information into these fractal patterns, the McGinty equation creates a system that inherently corrects its own errors. Errors are no longer catastrophic, they are dispersed and rectified within the fractal framework. The outcome is a quantum computer that is not only more powerful and stable, but also scalable to larger sizes, heralding a new era in computing. The McGinty equation could change more than just computers. It could revolutionize medicine, material science, artificial intelligence, and keeping our information safe. Imagine personalized medicine where doctors create virtual organs based on your genes to test new treatments, or a world with amazing new materials, self-healing concrete, super-efficient solar panels, and superconductors that work at room temperature. The McGinty equation could unlock the full power of artificial intelligence, letting machines learn like humans. It could help us understand consciousness and what intelligence really is. And in a world where everything is digital, the McGinty equation offers a new way to keep information safe, even from the most powerful quantum computers. The McGinty equation isn't just a scientific discovery. It's a sign of hope and a look into a future full of possibilities. The McGinty equation bravely connects two very different areas. Quantum mechanics, 
the study of the super-small and fractal geometry, the math of repeating patterns. This unusual combination helps us understand the power and fragility of quantum systems. Quantum mechanics shows us a world beyond our normal understanding. Tiny particles can be in multiple states at once, which is very strange. This strangeness is what makes quantum computing so powerful. But this power comes with a problem. Quantum systems are very delicate and prone to errors. This fragility, called decoherence, has been the biggest problem in building useful quantum computers. This is where fractals come in. Fractals, with their repeating patterns, offer a surprising solution. They provide a way to build strong, error-resistant systems that can handle the noise and errors in the quantum world. The dance of stability and change, fractals as quantum guardians. Using fractals to stabilize quantum systems seems strange at first. Fractals are often linked to chaos where small changes have big effects. But inside this chaos is a hidden order, a resilience that comes from the fractals repeating patterns. Think of a snowflake. It seems so fragile, but it survives. This same strength through repeating patterns is used in the McGinty equation framework. By putting quantum information into fractal structures, MECU creates a system where errors aren't disasters, but are spread out and absorbed. Imagine a ripple in a pond. In a simple pond, the ripple spreads everywhere, but if the pond has lots of interconnected channels, a fractal structure, the ripple's energy is absorbed, minimizing its impact. This is how fractals make quantum systems stable in MEQ. Weaving a tapestry of order and chaos, the fractal architecture of MEQ. MEQ doesn't just use fractals as a support. It uses fractal geometry to make quantum systems stronger and more stable. It does this by using the balance of order and chaos within fractal structures. Imagine a big tapestry woven with many different threads. At first it looks chaotic, but then you see repeating patterns creating a beautiful whole. This tapestry is like MEQ. The threads are quantum bits, qubits, each holding information. These qubits aren't arranged in a line, but are woven into a complex fractal network. This fractal arrangement makes the system very resilient. Errors, which could ruin a normal quantum computer, are contained and corrected within the fractal network. The system uses a bit of chaos to stay stable. From error correction to coherence enhancement. The multifaceted benefits of fractal integration. Using fractals in MEQ has many benefits, not just fixing errors. It also improves quantum coherence, the ability of a quantum system to stay in its delicate state, which is essential for quantum computing. Fractals do this through fractal resonance, like a tuning fork vibrates at a specific frequency. Fractal structures have resonant frequencies that can stabilize quantum states. By designing the fractal geometry carefully, researchers can tune these frequencies to counteract environmental noise. Also, MEQ is easily scalable. Normal quantum computers have trouble staying coherent as they get bigger. But MEQ, with its fractal architecture, scales up easily, allowing for bigger and more powerful quantum computers. This combination of error correction, coherence enhancement, and scalability makes MEQ a game-changer in quantum computing. It paves the way for strong, fault-tolerant quantum computers that can solve some of humanity's biggest problems. The quest for quantum resilience overcoming the error hurdle. Quantum computing could solve problems thought impossible for regular computers. Imagine simulating molecules to design life-saving drugs or optimizing complex logistical networks. But there's a big problem. Quantum systems are extremely fragile. Quantum bits or qubits are easily disrupted. Unlike classical bits, which are zero or one, Qubits exist in a fragile superposition of states easily disturbed by their environment. This vulnerability, called decoherence, causes errors that can ruin computations. Overcoming this has been the biggest challenge in quantum computing. Traditional error correction methods don't work well in the quantum world. These methods rely on making copies of information, but copying a qubit state destroys its superposition, losing the quantum advantage. This has led to the search for new approaches to fault-tolerant quantum computing, and this is where MEQ offers hope.
fractal fortifications, building inherent fault tolerance. MEQ takes a different approach to fault tolerance. Instead of trying to protect qubits from errors, which is impossible, MEQ uses fractal structures to create a system that is naturally resistant to errors. Imagine a fortress built not with one wall, but with many interconnected sections. If one part falls, the rest can still defend. This is fractal fault tolerance. In MEQ, quantum information isn't stored in single qubits, but is spread across a network of qubits arranged in a fractal pattern. This allows information to flow in many ways making the system strong against errors. Even if some qubits fail, the overall information stays intact. This inherent fault tolerance is key to make, allowing for more reliable and scalable quantum systems. A symphony of self-correction how MEQ tames quantum errors. MEQ doesn't just contain errors, it actively corrects them. This self-correction comes from the interplay of quantum mechanics and fractal geometry. Imagine a symphony orchestra. Even if a few instruments play a wrong note, the overall harmony isn't lost. The other instruments compensate and the conductor guides them back. This is similar to how MEQ corrects errors. The fractal network acts as a conductor, monitoring the qubits. When an error is detected, the system doesn't just discard the qubit. Instead, it uses entanglement between qubits to isolate the error and correct it without directly measuring the affected qubit, preserving its quantum state. This self-correction shows the power of Mac, using quantum mechanics to fix the very errors that have held the field back. scaling new heights towards large-scale fault-tolerant quantum computing. Quantum computing's promise lies in its potential to solve incredibly complex problems and scale up to tackle even bigger challenges. Imagine quantum computers simulating complex molecules for drug discovery or optimizing vast logistical networks. But this depends on building large-scale fault-tolerant quantum computers, something that has been very difficult. MEQ, with its built-in fault tolerance and self-correction, offers a way to achieve this. Unlike other approaches, which struggle as the number of qubits increases, MEQ scales up more easily. The fractal architecture allows for more qubits without making the system unstable. This scalability, combined with MEQ's error correction, makes large-scale, fault-tolerant quantum computers possible, bringing the full potential of quantum computation closer. Beyond the bit, a new dimension in data storage. In our world, we always want faster computers and more storage. The demand for data is growing exponentially, driven by advancements in technology and the increasing need for information. Every piece of data, from a simple text message to a complex scientific simulation, must be stored and processed quickly and efficiently. This is crucial for both everyday tasks and groundbreaking research but current storage technologies are reaching their limits. The sheer volume of data is overwhelming traditional storage methods. Traditional storage, like hard drives and flash memory, stores data as bits which are like tiny switches. These bits are the fundamental units of digital information. This method is reaching its limits in how much data can be stored and how quickly it can be accessed. The physical constraints of these technologies are becoming more apparent. The physical size of these bits limits how much information can fit in a given space. As we try to pack more data into smaller areas, we encounter significant challenges. Also, accessing data involves physical movement or electrical switching, which inherently slows things down. This latency can be a bottleneck in data-intensive applications. To move past these limits, we need to look beyond the bit to holographic data storage, made possible by the McGinty equation. This innovative approach offers a new way to think about data storage. MEC-based holographic storage goes beyond traditional methods by storing information not as bits on a flat surface, but as patterns of light within a 3D space. This three-dimensional approach significantly increases storage capacity. This allows for much more storage and faster access, leading to a data revolution. The future of data storage is here, and it promises to transform how we handle information. The holographic advantage. 
Encoding information in light, holography uses light to record and recreate 3D images capturing both the brightness and wave patterns of light. In holographic data storage, huge amounts of information are stored in a small space using light. A special light beam reads the hologram, recreating the original data. Fractal file systems, navigating the labyrinth of data. Normal ways of organizing files don't work well for holographic data. Fractal file systems organize data like a tree with branches, allowing for quick access. This structure works well even with huge amounts of data staying efficient. The transformative potential of MEEK storage. Meek storage offers massive capacity, secure data and uses less energy. It protects data from corruption and allows for strong encryption. Mech allows for processing lots of data at the same time, changing how we manage and analyze data. Fractal thinking for intelligent machines. AI systems built with MeQ use fractal structures processing information as a whole and adapting to unclear situations. This lets AI see patterns and make connections like human experts. The quantum leap in AI, MeQ's fusion of intelligence and computation. MeQ connects regular and quantum computing, making AI even better. Quantum-enhanced AI can do complex tasks incredibly fast. This combination creates AI systems with amazing capabilities. Creating Interdisciplinary and Conscious Machines Mech-based AI combines knowledge from different fields, allowing for better decisions and a deeper understanding of complex problems. This raises the possibility of creating conscious machines. The quantum threat, a new era of cryptographic challenges. Quantum computers could break current encryption methods. MEQ offers a way to create quantum-safe encryption. By using quantum mechanics, MEQ creates a new era of cryptography. Securing data in the quantum age. MEQ-based cryptography uses fractals and holograms to create encryption that quantum computers can't break. Information is encoded across a complex fractal structure needing a holographic key to unlock it. Unlocking hidden dimensions. MeQ's multidimensional data analysis. MeQ changes data analysis by representing complex data in a simpler form. This helps us find patterns and connections we couldn't see before. A new era of possibilities. The McGinty equation changes everything, combining quantum mechanics, fractal geometry and holograms. It promises a future where technology helps us solve our biggest problems.